recommend uh, 12 more solid bar using simple tools and um, how, to, how to make a twisting tool so you can put a twist into 12 more solid bar cold. Um, this is just a ordinary dining chair. Um, if you wanted to make a carver, you could make an extra piece like, like that and put a piece there, add a piece down there and put a ball on top. That's just a, a piece of plywood with a pad. Um, that cost about, you know, 40, 50 pounds from a, a, an upholsterer. As you can see, it's really simple. Anyway, watch the rest of the video and I'll show you how to, um, how to make some simple tools yourself and uh, you can make this chair or something similar. This is the top of the seat. Uh, you'll need to make a jig. So, um, to keep this uh, uniform shape, uh, that's the jig which you'll need to make. That might look familiar, I'll show you in a minute. And uh, then you'll think, well, how do I make that jig? Well, I'll show you how to make that in a minute. Um, and that's the back of the chair, or the chair leg in the back. And these are the um, the lower parts, and the same across there, I mean, obviously that's a bit, a bit longer. And uh, the edges there are just ground, ground to a point, just to give it a bit more style. And this is um, eight more round bar, um, you know, like bent to a, like, a, like a gothic type of shape. Now to bend this bar, to make this jig, draw a circle on your bench, perfect circle. You have to make yourself one of these, that might uh, look familiar. It's the same as the uh, cranking jig, any bigger. Just a bit of angle, anything you can find really, 16mm solid bar or square or thicker. Exactly the same principle, and it's heavier material. Now keep on doing this until you get the shape that you want. If you are a bend it, you take it out just as easy. This is the um, curve jig. Might be familiar from the, uh, the wall sign jig set. It's the curved jig out of uh, the wall sign jig set. Um, it's just a bit bigger, that's all. I've had the odd comment saying that these jigs don't look that uh, too special. But the idea behind these jigs, the main principle is once you've learned how to use these, uh, you can go on and make bigger things and uh, make your own jigs. And they'll teach you how to bend and manipulate steel. And um, how to become a fabricator, basically. Anyway, you need, obviously, bigger clamps. Everything's heavier. You have to excuse me, because I've broke my wrist. I fell out of range now. Just pull it around. Now you'll need to clamp it every now and again. And I'll put another clamp there. You don't really need to make a jig if you don't want to. You can, um, if you're only making one or two chairs, 
then you need to clamp it again there and keep on going around until you get the same shape. In the last video, I showed you how to bend, how to make a twisting tool, or use use them, or vo old vo just vice grips, and how to make a twisting tool to put a twist in, um, in some steel, flat steel, really simple twists. So I'll show you how to make a tool to bend 12mm square bar um, cold. And uh, all you need, cut six pieces off, a 12mm square bar, one there, one there, one there, one there, you, you weld across there, weld across there, and the, and the back, and the same again on the opposite side, so you sandwich the bar all the way around. Welded those um, six pieces together. See? I've made two simple handles. I'll just weld them on there like that. I've welded the handles. Really simple. It looks a bit rough, I know, but that's that's what I'm going to achieve. I've marked where it's got to be on the voice. There's lots, of, there's lots of tools on the market where you can um, bend and twist and twist steel and do all sorts of things. But they cost an absolute fortune. Um, with a bit of imagination, you can make them yourself. And uh, have some fun at the same time. Anyway, thanks for watching.